Hey everybody, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I want to show you something that's changed recently in the On One Photo Raw HDR Merge dialog. So with uh, 2018.1, we now have the ability to choose a reference image not only for our exposure, but also for deghosting. And the interface has changed slightly, so I want to explain that to you. So let me select these three photos here, which is a bracket from negative two to positive two. Let's bring it into the HDR Merge. So as before, the three photos that are part of this bracket are shown here, and we have one that's selected. But notice this new icon looks like an aperture ring. That's how we select what the exposure reference is. So as I change that, if I were to select the one that's on the high end, notice the shift in the EV values. This is now set as nominal, and everything here is darker because I'm biasing things toward the brightest image. Conversely, we could do things darker and so forth. You know, why do we want that? Well, sometimes when we take our bracket, it might be the, the, the negative one exposure that is the best overall, and you want to start that as your reference. So what's the orange highlight one here? Well, that's for deghosting. Let's set this back, our exposure back to the center one. I'm going to turn on deghosting. Let's put it up very high so we can see something happen. And I'll show deghosting. And I expect to see some movement in the leaves as I'm taking a photo. There's a light breeze and the leaves are moving around. And so we can see all these red areas are things that have moved between these different frames. Well, as I selected this exposure here, that's going to be my reference for deghosting. So if I like the way the leaves look in this particular frame, then I want to choose that for my deghosting. If I choose a different frame, we're going to see the deghosting change a little bit. And now I see you know, more areas. You know, This must have been a fleck of light filtering through onto the pathway. Or in the dark frame, we'll see slightly things different there. So that's the, the, the change in the interface. When you're selecting with uh, you know, the, the highlighted, most selected frame there that's highlighted in your color, that's your deghosting reference. For your exposure reference, use that little tiny uh, aperture ring uh, badge that's on the different photos. And from here, everything else is the same. You can go and set your settings over here in your tone and color. You can do things with you know, your compression and you know the way you want to have your photo look, add glow, whatever you'd like to do. And when you're all done, you go ahead and save this. You get your HDR blend. And of course, you can go change all of those settings non-destructively in develop and in effects. Well, I hope that helps you out. If you're an HDR person, now you understand you can select a reference frame for not only your exposure, but also for your deghosting. My name's Scott Davenport, and thanks for watching.